who is this American Eagle model? I mean, seriously, he looks like if American Eagle and Amber Crabbie and Fitch had a baby. But in all seriousness, this guy's been showing up on my TikTok feed and on YouTube way too much. Today, we're finding out why Alex Eubank has taken over the nation. And I don't say that lightly. It seems like him and Sam Sulik are currently sharing the spotlight for fitness influencer of the year. And to be honest, after doing more research, I like the guy. I think the energy he brings to fitness in general and just his unapologetic truth, pursuit of what he thinks is best in life, it's hard not to respect that. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's start at the very beginning. Alex Eubank was born in the year 2000. On May 23rd, he was brought into the world in Baltimore, Maryland. Really the only interesting thing that happens with Alex during his youth is the fact that he's an only child. Now, we could consider that minuscule, but when you look at the trauma that Alex has experienced in high school, it is no mistake. It is not a coincidence. And let me explain why. When you're a middle child, you're everything. You're the world. But when you go into high school and there's other people and you find out about the world, your paradigm is shattered. And that is a big deal. Now, I'm sure if we asked Alex this directly, he probably wouldn't be conscious of it. I think most of this would be unconscious, but all the more reason for just it being that big of a deal. Now, ironically, I do think Alex has an above average sense of awareness. Let me explain. Like I said, the energy he brings brings to the videos, the energy he brings to the vlog. It's very self-aware. I don't think we've ever had a time where so many people Alex's age are this in touch with the truth of themselves. I mean, how many people in the 1960s, 1970s were at the status Alex is and is so still in touch with his humanity? Probably not a lot of people, to be honest. I mean, even in one of his most recent vlogs, he says, life is deeper than weights. And again, this is from a fitness influencer who's 23 years old. You think when you're 23 with all the testosterone that that's probably maybe the last thing you would be thinking about is these grandiose thoughts of life and death. But here he is preaching to his audience about the, if not the vanity of weightlifting to a certain point and the idea of having to live a meaningful life. Now, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. So let's go back to Alex's youth when he was in middle school. Now, Alex said he got in a lot of fights, which honestly is no surprise for Alex. Think about having an abnormally high level of testosterone in your body. I don't care how nice you are, you're probably gonna punch someone in the face at least once, probably a couple times, if your testosterone is anywhere close to Alex's. It's funny to me seeing the regret Alex has as he talks about some of the fights he's been in with this kind of remorse, but honestly, I don't think there's anything he could have done to prevent that. I think it was just a matter of biology <laughs> at that point. But this is a common thread we see throughout Alex's vlogs and throughout his life. This energy that's genuine and actually wants to not only help people, but is very considerate of others. I think that's what separates Alex as a fitness influencer. And I think a lot of it came from when he was going through the depression and anxiety he experienced in high school. Let's take a closer look at that. Alex many times has opened up about his past with anxiety and depression, saying most of that came from his relationship relationships with previous girlfriends. Now, he said this was obviously the most challenging. He said he found a lot of stability from his relationship with God that he's very open about and kind of as a result has found a way for him to get his identity outside of other people uh, to find his identity in Christ, as he says. There are plenty of TikToks of him playing guitar with a scripture or some kind of some verses from a worship song that detail his experience during that time and how he found refuge in God. An interesting thing I might add is if you look at Alex, he's almost built for heartbreak. I mean, on the exterior, he is above average looks, just facial structure wise, and then above average looks genetically, working out very disciplined, which can get the attention of a lot of girls. But him being so soft and so caring, so open, I'm sure a lot of maybe girls when they got <laughs> closer to him in a relationship probably didn't enjoy that as much and left him as a result, which unfortunately had a negative impact on Alex. But I do think in this season of his life,
life, it bettered him. But if we're being real, at that point of his life, he was kind of designed for heartbreak. And because of this heartbreak, it led him into self-help. On the surface, Alex is a fitness influencer, but at the core, I think Alex is truly a self-help bro. I mean, even just him quoting from Napoleon Hill, he is the cornerstone of self-improvement material. He has read his book, Outwitting the Devil, and really is standing on the truth of people can make it out of their situations if they just put enough faith in themselves. During this time where Alex's life starts to get a little bit more interesting, he starts working out in the gym more and really, really commits to getting gains, going full out in the gym, really no friends, some relationships here and there, but really spending his energy, making the most out of his testosterone in the gym. Now, it was at this time Alex graduated high school and started to go to a community college. He would also start to vlog some of his workouts and started to get a little bit of a following initially. Uh, he even got some attention from Bradley Martin, who, as we know, is a prominent founding father in the fitness influencer community. With some encouragement from Bradley, Alex decided this is the thing he should do. He should stick to fitness and pursue this full time. In fact, Bradley Martin actually invited Alex out to LA. And on this trip, Alex had to get on an airplane. And he remembers this being one of the biggest moments of his life. Like this being him before in high school, not being able to leave his house because of the anxiety he felt. Him getting on an airplane and going to a city he's never been to was a really big deal to him and really was a burn the ships moment for Alex. And when I say burn the ships, he really did. Around the same time he had a college assignment that was due, he opened up the document, took a look, said screw this, and then withdrew from all of his classes at the same time. So this was a pivotal moment in Alex's life. Now with all the success comes a lot of attention and with attention comes criticism. In one of the pictures that Alex posted to Instagram, some people suspected foul play. Someone on Reddit decided to zoom in on one of the photos and found some contouring lines where there should have been straight lines, meaning Alex manipulated the photos in Photoshop. Now, just with this post on Reddit, it went viral. So many people found out about Alex because of these supposedly Photoshop pictures and the word of Alex continued to spread. The other massive criticism for Alex is whether or not he is using performance enhancing drugs. Alex has been crystal clear in saying he's never used or touched performance enhancing drugs, but some people think that's a bunch of BS. I personally see performance enhancing drugs not as black and white, but more as a spectrum. I'm sure whatever Alex has done, if he has done anything, he wouldn't consider performance enhancing, which is why his certainty is really high when he says, I have not done performance enhancing drugs. But honestly, if another gym bro took a look at what he was taking, Making, maybe they would disagree. The weird thing is there are comments from his YouTube channel on other YouTube videos about steroids asking very, very specific questions about dosages and what to take. So that's kind of suspicious. And on top of that, those comments have since been deleted, but a couple internet warriors were lucky enough to screenshot those in time before they were erased. Now, people out there cling to this evidence as a smoking gun that Alex Alex Eubank uses perform enhancing drugs, but does it prove it? I mean, maybe he just has an above average knowledge in pharmacology and wanted to ask some very specific questions. You know, maybe he's just a curious little lad. You never know. But yes, I'm sure that's a red flag to many, but given his age, I mean, get a couple red flags, Alex, you know, you're young. Let's make the mistakes now as opposed to when you're 40. And uh, it's a little bit harder to recover and bounce back if you know what I mean. Now, would I care if Alex made a Dylan McKnight coming clean video about steroids? Probably not. But knowing him and his soft heartedness, he'd probably fall apart. And I'm sure much of his audience would walk away just given how black and white most of them are. If you read any of the comments on his videos, there's so many people championing him to stay clean. Like I said, I think this is more of a spectrum as opposed to black and white. So feel free to make your own assumptions here. Time will tell what will happen to Alex Eubank. There's a very interesting juxtaposition between the energy he has in the videos versus the weird weird photos that might have been photoshopped and the funny comments about steroid usage. Regardless of what happens, I think Alex Eubanks' influence on the world is a net plus, and I say that sincerely. Let us know in the comment section other fitness influencers we should look at. If you watch for this long, consider subscribing and make sure to check out one of our other videos right here.